Okay, um, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the scheduling seminar. Today we have uh, Xinjiang Yuan uh, from China, and I would like to ask Gu Hua to introduce the speaker. Hi, hello everyone. It's my honor to invite Professor Jinjiang Yan to give this talk in our global scheduling seminar. Uh, let me uh, spend uh, uh, one or two minutes to inter introduce him. Uh, I think most of uh, you may know him uh, for his uh, theoretical work in scheduling. So uh, Jin Jiang Yuan is a professor in the School of Mathematics and Statistics, Zhengzhou University in Henan province in China. So he received his uh, doctor degree in mathematical science from Sichuan University in 1995. His principal research interests include scheduling, graph theory, and the combinatorial optimization in general. He has published more than 200 papers in such journals as Mathematical Programming, EJR, Journal of Scheduling, Journal of Graphic Theory, Graph Theory, or Letters, among others. He also, uh, as a PI, uh, invested a eight projects from National Science Foundation of China. Now let's welcome him uh, to give us this uh, seminar. Thank you. Oh, so we can start. Thanks for your, uh, okay. Thanks for your nice introduction. Thanks to Professor Handy Neck, Professor Pinedo, and Professor Wen for this international uh, scheduling seminar. The title of my talk is Updated Complexity Results in Single Machine Primary Secondary Scheduling for Minimizing to Regular Criteria. And in the primary secondary scheduling problem, we have a primary scheduling and criteria and a secondary scheduling criteria. The goal of the problem is to find a scheduler which minimizes the secondary criteria subject to the restriction that the primary criteria is minimized. And in 1993, Lee and Velik Rakis presented a comprehensive review for the computational complexity of the single machine primary secondary scheduling problems where all the drops are released at time zero when both of the two criteria are regular more than 20 problems were posed as open at that time this talk will report the research progress of these open problems uh, section one, schedulers and the criteria. Uh, we have n jobs carry j equals j1, j2, up to jn to be scheduled on a single machine. Each job jj has a processing time pj, a due date dj, and a weight wj, and all the parameters pj, dj, wj are non-negative integers. Since we only consider the classical scheduling problems, each scheduling criteria f is a function of the form f equals fc1, c2, up to cn, where cj is the combination term of job jj. A scheduling criteria f is called a regular if f is non decreasing in the combination time and uh, combination times of the drops. In this report, we only consider uh, the following regular criteria f maximum, l maximum, some cj, some uj, some tj, some wj, cj, some wj, uj, some wj, tj. And we assume that all the jobs 
are released at the time zero, then we only consider the schedules in which the drops are consecutive, consecutively scheduled without at all time. Uh, then a scheduler sigma of carol j is denoted by sigma equals j sigma one, j sigma two, j sigma n, uh, where j sigma i is the ith drop in sigma. Uh, it will be processed, processed in the ith position in sigma. For two distinct drops, j i and j j, we use the notation j i precedes j j to indicate that uh, j i is scheduled before j j in schedule sigma. Uh, section two, the primary secondary scheduling problems. Let f and g B2 regular scheduling criteria. The single machine primary secondary scheduling problem with F being the primary criteria and G being the secondary criteria is denoted by Y lex FG, which aims to find a scheduler sigma such that the secondary criteria G sigma is minimized under the under the constraint that the primary criterion f sigma is minimized. Uh, let a big pair f be the set of the optimal schedulers for the single criterion problem when f, then a scheduler sigma of carol j is optimal for problem when lex fg if and only if Sigma belongs to big pair F, and the G sigma is the minimum value of G pair for pair belonging to big pair F. For each optimal scheduler sigma for problem one lex FG, we call F sigma G sigma the optimal vector of the problem. Section three, computational complexity. When we consider uh, the computational complexity, a scheduling problem is either polynomially solvable or ordinary MP-hard or unary MP-hard. Here, a problem is ordinary MP-hard if it is binary MP-hard and is solvable in pseudo polynomial time. Uh, a problem is called open if up to now we don't know any information about its complexity classification. A problem is called e open if up to now we only know partial information about uh, its complexity classification. And so, the exact complexity is still open. In particular, if an e-open problem is binary and hard, thus the pseudo polynomial solvability or unary and hardness is still unknown, we call the problem OU open. For an OU open problem, the remaining issue is to determine that it is ordinary MP hard or unary MP hard. Section four, open problems. In 1993, Lee and Velikta Rex presented a comprehensive review for the computational complexity of the single machine, primary secondary scheduling problems, one lex FG with Fg belonging to F max, L max, some Cj, some Wcj, some Uj, some Wuj, some Tj, some Wtj. According to different choices of the two criteria 
F and G, the complexity status of all the problems are at that time were reported in Lee and Velik Rex 1993, where more than 20 problems are still open or e open at that time. Without going into the details of these, pro these results, we only report uh, the new achievements obtained uh, these years for the open or e open problem posted in Li and Vrek Direct 1993. First, let us list uh, these open problem or e open problems. Uh, there are totally 25 these problems. Uh, since we will visit uh, them one by one, so let us uh, skip over this problem here. Up to now, the complexity status of problems 1 to 50 have been addressed or partially addressed. We will report on these results. Section five, problems one to six. Problem one, one likes some WCG, some TG, OU open. Problem two, one likes some WCG, some WCAP, UG, OU open. Problem three, one likes some WCG, some WTG open. Uh, exact complexities of these problems are in fact implied in the early literature. The four problem, uh, the four problem, the three problems for has a have a common primary criteria, some WCG from Smith's 1956, the unique strategy for solving problem one. Some WCG is to sequence the jobs in the w WSPT order. That is, the non decreasing order of the resource PJ over WJ. Thus, for every criterion F, problem one lacks some WCG F can be solved in the following way. First, sequence the jobs by the WSPT order, which minimizes the primary criteria, some WCG. Then, for each block of jobs with the same ratio PG over WG, reschedule the jobs by an optimal scheduler for problem one. F to minimize the secondary criteria, F. Lawler 1977 showed that problem one, some TJ is pseudo polynomially solvable. Thus, problem one is pseudo polynomially solvable and so ordinary MP hard. For problem one, some WJ UJ, Lola and Moore, 1969, presented an OMP time algorithm and Sany, 1976, presented an ONW time algorithm, where P is the total processing time and the W is the total weight. Thus, problem two, is pseudo polynomially solvable and so ordinary MP hard. Arkin and Randy, 1991, showed that the problem one, uh, WJ equals lambda PJ, some WTJ is binary MP hard and solvable in pseudo polynomial time. Thus, problem three is ordinary MP hard. 
section six, problem four. That is when lex some tj, some wj, cj, all you open. Uh, exact complexity of this problem is also implied in the early literature. Lane Lateral, Lateral, 1977, showed that the problem when dj bar, some wcj is unary empty hard, where dj bar is the deadline of job jj, which requires that cj always least is less than or equal to DJ bar for every job JJ. Uh, let us consider a feasible existence KJ on problem one DJ bar sum WCJ. By setting DJ uh, equals DJ bar, it is clear that a scheduler sigma of KJ is feasible subject to the deadlines if and only if sigma tj sigma uh, equals zero. Uh, that is sigma is optimal for problem one sum tj. Thus, problem one tj bar sum wcj on feasible instances polynomially reduces to problem one legs some TJ, some WCJ. This implies that problem four is unary and be hard. Uh, section seven, problems fail to eat, problem fail. One legs F maximum, some UJ open. Problem six, one legs, some UJ F max open. Problem seven, one lex f maximum, some u some w u j all you open. Problem eight, one lex some w u j f max all you open. Uh, the work of Yuan 2017 implies that all the problems fail to eat are unary in uh, Next, we only consider problems five and six since problems seven and eight are more general. Yuan 2017 showed that uh, the problem when DJ bar sum UJ is unary in hard. Let us consider a feasible distance KJ of problem when DJ bar sum UJ by setting for each time T and uh, each index j, fjt equals zero, if t is less than or equal to dj bar, equals infinity, if t is greater than dj bar. It is clear that a scalar sigma of kj is feasible, subject to the deadlines if and only if f maximum sigma equals zero. That is, sigma is optimal for problem one, f maximum. <laughs> then the following statement can be observed. A schedule of KJ is optimal for problem one, dj bar, some uj, if and only if it is optimal for problem one, next, f maximum, some uj. This statement uh, means that problem when dj bar sum uj polynomially reduces to problem when lex f maximum sum uj. Thus, problem fail is also unary np hard. Now let us consider problem six. Uh, let us further consider feasible existence KJ for problem one, DJ bar sum UJ. Let U star be the optimal value of the problem one, sum UJ on instance K.
I don't know what happened. Mike, I, I think we have to wait. Uh, I don't hear you. I have to. Uh, you can unmute yourself. Now you can. Okay, let me check. Let, let me call, call. Yeah, there is something. Probably there is something wrong uh, in Zhengzhou. Yeah. 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 Let, let, let me let me call him. Sorry. Okay. In Shanghai, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, everything is, is all right. Hey, hey. Uh, you can Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, we'll stop it. Hey, 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 Okay, there, there, there may be some uh, problem with the uh, internet connection. And uh, uh, Professor Yang is, is a restart, uh, reconnect to the internet. Maybe we need to uh, wait for one or two minutes. Okay. Sorry for that. Oh, stay tuned. So maybe I can inform you that uh, we are preparing program for, for let's say, um, autumn and winter season. Uh, we have got like 40 different suggestions uh, uh, by PC members. And now the PC members are voting. Uh, uh, and then we will start with uh, the speakers that got uh, uh, the highest number of votes. Uh, so there are very, very uh, attractive names uh, among the speakers. So I hope that uh, you will have a nice program starting probably from September. I see uh, Jing Chang on the list already. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, hello, Jing Chang, welcome back. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think you should be able okay, to. Share, share with us, uh, share with um, us. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, Let's go further. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I will begin in here. Decision one, is there a feasible schedule of Sigma? Oh my God. Uh, by the way, uh, if you can do the screen sharing and he tells you whenever you have to go to the next screen, that put a little bit less burden on his network. You have the slides, at Goa. Yeah, everybody has a slide. If you go to the chat, you can download. I, I have the slides. I have the slides. Yeah. Uh, okay. So maybe if he tells you whenever you go to the next slide, that puts some less, less of a uh, burden on his system. He's okay, back, back on again. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh, sorry.
اه اوكي امم اوكي Uh, a schema of KLJ is a yes solution of decision one. If and only if it is optimal, it is optimal for problem one legs. Uh, UJ Fmax with object to vector U star zero. This statement means that decision one. Polynomially reduces to problem one lex sum uj f max. Thus, problem six is also unary and hard. Problems nine and ten. Problems nine one lex f max sum tj. All you open. Problem ten one lex sum tj f max. All you open. The work of Kulamas and Capresis 2001 implies that problems 9 and 10 are ordinary empty hard. Uh, since the two problems are binary empty hard, we next show that both the two problems are pseudo polynomially solvable. Problems 1. DJ, DJ bar, some TJ was studied in Kulamas and Kepesis 2001, where DJ, DJ e bar in the beta field means that the jobs have agreeable due datas and deadlines or equivalently. The jobs of KLJ can be renumbered such that D1 less than or equal to D2, less than or equal to uh, up to Dn and the D1 by establishing a separation theorem similar to that in Lawler 1977, the authors showed that problem one Dj Dj bar some Tj is solvable in O in five P max time. We lost him. Well, the, the internet connection has really some problems with that. Uh... Maybe Guo Hua, we lost Guo Hua also. In the worst yeah. case, Guo Hua, you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I try to uh, uh, use a phone to get yeah. his words and then send uh, uh, through my computers to the internet. Exactly. Yeah. You can have it on a, on a mobile phone and just put it yeah. close to, to your mic and uh, then it surprisingly works well. I tried that already. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you have to you have to click on slides, right? Yeah, I will, I will do that. He is back. Uh, but still there, there may be some problems. Uh, sorry again. <laughs> okay. Uh, first, to solve the problem when L maximum on instance KLG and let L star be its optimal value. Then said uh, dj bar equals dj plus l, l star for j equals one, two, up to n. Let j prime be the new instance with such deadlines. Observe that the jobs have agreeable due dates and deadlines in KJ prime. 
Then run algorithm one to solve the problem one DJ, DJ bar, some TJ on instance, KLJ prime and uh, that sigma be its optimal scheduler. It's easy to see that the scheduler sigma returned by proceed one is also optimal for problem one lakhs L maximum some TJ on instance KLJ. Thus, problem nine is solvable in pseudo polynomial time. Now we consider problem 10. Again, let L star be the optimal value of problem one L maximum on instance KLJ. Let T prime L prime be the optimal vector of problem one Let's some TJ L max on instance on instance the KLJ. T prime can be obtained by solving problem one some TJ on instance KLJ. The remaining issue is to determine the value of L prime. It's obvious that L prime belongs to L star L star plus one up to L star plus P, where P is the total processing time of the drops. Thus, for each tau belonging to zero one up to P, we define L tau equals L star plus tau and uh, DJ bar tau equals DJ plus L tau. And we use KLJ tau to denote the instance in, in induced from KLJ with that lens DJ bar tau. Note that the job have agreeable due data and deadlines in instance KLJ tau. So algorithm one, algorithm one is also applicable. Suppose that L prime equals L star plus tau prime for some tau prime belonging to uh, zero one up to P. And for each tau, we use T tau to denote the optimal value of the problem when DJ, DJ bar, some TJ on instance KJ tau. It is clear that T tau uh, is greater than or equal to T prime for R tau belonging to zero one up to P. We have the following statement for tau prime. Tau prime is the minimum value of tau such that T tau is equal to tau prime. That is, uh, the optimal value of problem one DJ, DJ bar, some TJ on instance KJ tau is T prime. For an integral tau belonging to zero one up to P, if T tau equals T prime, we know that tau prime is less than or equal to tau. And if tau, T tau is greater than T prime, we know that T prime is greater than tau. Thus, tau prime can be determined by binary search on tau belonging to zero one up to P with the decision T tau equals T prime or not being answered by applying algorithm one for solving problem one DJ, DJ bar, some TJ on instance KLJ tau. And we finally observe that a schedule of KLJ is optimal for problem one legs some TJ L maximum if and only if it is optimal for the problem one DJ, DJ bar, some TJ on instance KLJ tau prime. As a result, problem one legs some TJ L maximum can be solved by the following procedure. Perfect. Procedure two. Uh, first, determine the value T prime by solving problem one some TJ on instance KJ. This can be done by lawless algorithm. 
then applying band research for tau belonging to zero one up to p to determine the value tau prime, where we need to solve all log p problems, one dj dj bar some tj on instance KJ tau for the peak the value tau. Each problem is solved solved by using algorithm one. In O N five P max time, and uh, finally set L prime equals L star j plus tau prime. Output the optimal vector T prime, L prime. Thus, pro problem ten is solvable in O N five P max P max log p time, which is a pseudo polynomial. And so, ordinary mp hard. Uh, section nine, problem 11. And that is one lex f max, some tj, all you open. The work of Chen and Yuan, 2019, implies that this problem is unary mp hard. Chen and Yuan 2019 showed that this problem, the problem one, tj bar, some tj is unary mp hard. Again, by setting for each time t and each index j, fj t equals zero if t is less than or equal to dj bar, equals infinity if t is greater than dj bar. We see that the problem one dj bar some tj unfeasible instances polynomially reduces to the problem one lex f maximum some tj. Thus, problem 11 is also unary mp hard. Uh, section 10, problems, problem 12. That is one lex some wj uj some wj cap uj OU open. The work of Agnetis et al. 2014 implies that this problem is ordinary and hard. In Agnetis et al. 2014, the authors showed that the constraint problem, one, some WJ cap UJ subject to some WJ UJ. Uh, is less than or equal to Q is server in pseudo polynomial time. By setting Q to be the optimal value of problem one, some WJ, which can be observed, uh, which can be obtain, obtained in OP time, we see that problem 12 is pseudo polynomially servable. And so, Ordinary MP hard. <laughs> Section 11, problems uh, 13 and 14. Problem 13, one lex some UJ, some CJ open. Uh, problem 14, one lex some UJ, some TJ open. Uh, complexities of the two problems were updated by Ho et al. 2007. Who at all 2007 showed that problems 13 and 14 are binary MP hard. By our knowledge, the exact complexity pseudo polynomially solvable or unary MP hard of any of the two problems is still unaddressed. Thus, problems 13 and 14 are all you open now? Uh, we conjecture that problems 13 and 14 are unary MP hard. Uh, section 12, problem 13, one that is one lex some TJ, some UJ, all you open. Recently, Yuan and Zhao 2021 showed that this problem is pseudo polynomial solvable and so ordinary and hard. 
Recall that Lala 1977 presented an O in 5 Pmax time algorithm for solving problem one some TG based on the following separation theorem. The separation theorem states that suppose that D1 is less than or equal to D2, less than or equal to D3 up to Dn, and let Jj be a drop of the longest processing time. Then there is an index k belonging to j, j plus one up to n, and there is an optimal scheduler sigma in which the drops are scheduled in the order j1, j2, jk minus jj. These drops are scheduled in some way then followed by the key job JJ, and then followed by other jobs scheduled in some way. This, this is, the, is the famous separation theorem in Lawler 1977. Very accidentally, we found the, we found the following modified separation theorem for problem one likes some TJ, some UJ. Uh, the modified separation theorem states that suppose that D1 is less than or equal to D2, less than or equal to up to Dn, uh, where D, Di equal to Dj and Pi less than Pj will lead, will lead to A less than J. Let JJ be a job such that JJ has the longest process term and subject to this condition, DJ is as small as possible. Then there is an index K belonging to J, J plus one up to N, and there is an optimal schedule sigma in which the jobs are scheduled in the order J1, J2 up to Jk minus Jj. These drops are scheduled first in some way, followed by the key drop Jj, and then follows, followed by other drops scheduled in some way. Mm. This is the modified separation theorem. With this modified separation theorem in hand by using the similar procedure, as that in Lala 1977, we present an O in 5 P max time pseudo polynomial algorithm for solving problem when lacks some TJ, some UJ. Thus, problem 15 is ordinary MP hard. Section 13, problem 16 to 25. Uh, in fact, there is no progress on these problems. Uh, problem 16, one lacks some TJ FMAX OU open. 17, one lacks some TJ, some CJ OU open. 18, one lacks some TJ, some WUJ OU open. 19, one lacks some TJ, some WTJ OU open. Uh, we conjecture that problems 15 to 19 are pseudo polynomially solvable, possibly based on some new separation theorems together with some new techniques. Since the, uh, the four problems have a common primary character, some TJ, but unfortunately, unfortunately, simple separation theorems as that in Yuan and Zhao 2021 do not exist. Uh, problem 20, one lex L max sum UJ open. Uh, problem 21, one lex sum UJ L max open. We conjecture that problems 20 and 21 
are polynomially solvable. Uh, and we, in fact, have some idea for, for the two problem. Problem 22, one lakhs Mx sum WGA UG OU open. 23, one lakhs sum WGA UG Mx OU open. Uh, we conjecture that problems 22 and 23 are pseudo polynomially solvable. <laughs> Problem 24, one lakhs sum WGA UG some CJ OU open. 25, one lakhs some WJ, UJ, some TJ OU open. Uh, we have conjectured that problems 13 and 14, that is one lakhs some UJ, some CJ, and one lakhs some UJ, some TJ are unary in hard. Thus, we also have the following conjecture. Problems 24 and 25 are unary empty hard. Uh, uh, finally, because of the language barrier, if you have any questions, uh, please ask uh, Professor Wo Hua Wan. Uh, thanks. Okay, thank you very much. Um, let me open discussion. So I think I have unmuted all of you. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate and ask to directly. If you hesitate, then I can start with one high level question. Um, do you have any um, clue or any idea why these problems are difficult? Because for example, for single criteria, some problems are simple to solve and for secondary criteria, they are difficult. So what have you learned from combination of, of these two criteria? What's the real reason of, of the difficulty? It's general difficult to ask the question, right? Gua Hua, may I ask you to, to translate if it's needed? Yeah, 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 I may do that. Uh, Professor Yuan, uh, the, the, so mm. the, the, the basic question is, uh, you know, you have two objectives here. Uh, the 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 two objectives. He 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 Okay, I, I think the, 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 the basic answer is, uh, you know, if the first, uh, the primary uh, criteria is very difficult, then there's no hope to, to have a good uh, solution. <laughs> Because uh, like, like in the example, uh, if you look at the, the primary uh, objective or primary criteria, if you look at the summation CJ, uh, summation TJ, because summation TJ is, or, is already a very difficult problem. So if you add something else, then the problem must be very, very hard. So, so the, the clue is like that. So uh, if uh, the first uh, uh, criteria, the, the primary cri criterion, if a relatively easy, then even you, you have a little bit of difficult uh, second uh, or uh, second uh, criterion, the problem is relatively easy. But if the, if, if the prime objective is too difficult, then there's no hope to, to have a even pseudo polynomial time algorithm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, okay. thank you. And then let me ask uh, others uh, if they have yeah. any questions. Uh... Hey, Jing Yang, I have a question. Let's look at the weighted objective functions of two objectives. Basically, what Jing Chang has looked at, he concentrated on the hierarchical. So that yeah. is in the trade-off curve. He looks at the two extreme points in the trade-off curves. He looks at the two extreme points. Now, does he have an example where the two extreme points are 
let's say polynomial, but the weighted objective for a certain types of weights are harder. So uh, uh, pseudo polynomial or strongly NPR, or does he have an example where the two extreme points are pseudo polynomial, but a weighted objective function is strongly NP hard. Do it, does he have, and that he has a proof of the strong NP hardness for within the, within the trade-off curve? Yeah. Uh, Pinedo Jiao so Ju Wen Hata so to go, Luko, Ni 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 你是minimize一个,然后subject完另外一个,像如果加权的话,你觉得会,就是说加权会变得更难,有没有可能要变得更容易? 加权之后，这个那这种情况好像没有啊。是他要是这个是主次指标，如果是都是容易的话，他那个那个加权应该是这会容，会容易这个。Okay, I I I don't know. Uh, Professor Yuan's answer is like that. Professor Pinedo, and then, uh, he he thinks, uh, the weighted objective function is easier than. The two extremes. Why does he think that a weighted one with arbitrary weights yeah, arbitrary is weights. easier than the two extremes? He because the two extremes easier. has a weight, one weight just much higher than the other weight. But then if a much higher, it's if much higher, then it becomes another becomes a y extreme, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a special case. Yeah. But uh, he thinks. Uh, the weighted case is always uh, easier than the two extreme cases. Oh, I don't know why. That's Somewhat that's surprising, that's but okay. Well, I take his, uh, I take his word for it. I'm a little bit surprised. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, of course, uh, in general, there's no, uh, no general relationship. But uh, in, in most cases, uh, he thinks uh, the weighted case is easier. They're two extremes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't have a, a very deep study on, on this topic. <laughs> okay. It's something to think about. But in general, uh, I uh, expect uh, that the extreme case is uh, uh, like some problem yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Zero, and then, 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 then like becomes a finite and infinite uh, weight, right? Yeah. But this is not probably what he considered by his answer. Well, there is even another problem associated with it because suppose that I gave you specific weights for the two objective function, and uh -huh. uh, you can solve that maybe in pseudo polynomial time. Can you find out the whole trade-off curve in pseudo-polynomial time? So every, uh, uh, probably that will stay of the same complexity. But OK, I don't know. I haven't worked in this area. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, seems like for arbitrary ways, uh, you can, you, if you can find one solution, then you can get the uh, frontier, right? You can get the frontier of all the points. Yeah. Probably, but you have to find out where the frontier lies. And then there must be of the same uh, complexity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that uh, I that sounds plaus plausible. Uh huh. Maybe you want to unmute Zdenek. You want to unmute the whole audience because maybe some people there have a I, have yeah, an opinion. Have some, uh, questions. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So sorry for that. They were unmuted and oh, they, they are unmuted. They can, 
speak. Oh, everybody can unmute themse themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, may I ask about something? Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead, please. Uh, Professor Yuan, um, I, I just started to think uh, what would be if you generalize your problems to parallel machine problems, because all problems that you have considered were single machine problems. Single machine, yeah. So uh, my question is, do you think that it's possible to find a polynomially solvable parallel machine problem evaluated uh, in the hierarchical sense as you defined? Because the only polynomial, uh, polynomially solvable problem on parallel machine is uh, the one with total completion time. So uh, we know, but other criteria are not easy. So what is your opinion, if you, if you can? Ah. 在平行期上会怎么样？平行期上只有三倍，也好办呐，对吧？其他都不行。The the the only possible and problem is the is the primary primary criteria is the is some CJ. When the primary criteria is some CJ, such a uh primary secondary problem may be solved in polynomial time. Since the, the unique the strategy is also the SPT sequence. Mm. Then the block is not just to to reschedule the jobs of equal processing time. Ah, yeah, that's good. Uh, but for other problem, uh, maybe they are very difficult <laughs> since the, even for the single machine, there are so many open problem and so many unit and hard problem. Okay. okay, I understand. <laughs> Okay, thank you. So, so thank some you. other question from the audience. Don't hesitate. Go on. Otherwise, we will close the session. So, the last call for questions. If there are none, uh, so thank you very much for attending the seminar, and. Uh, uh, next time we will have uh, Mike uh, Carter uh, speaking about challenges in healthcare scheduling applications. Uh, Mike is from uh, uh, University of Toronto and it will be at usual time in two weeks, it means the June 23. Okay, so thank you for attending today and hope to see you in two weeks. Bye-bye. Uh, Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.